This will be the one-person high shoulder ladder evolution with narration. When doing a one-person high shoulder ladder evolution, we want to start out at the balance point of the ladder facing the tip. As we beam the ladder, we need to step in close, keeping our hand on the ladder at all times when it's on its beam. When moving towards the tip of the ladder, we need to make sure our hand is on the side of the beam rather than the tip. Lift the ladder with your legs sliding your hands until you get to the balance point. Once your hand is on the balance point, you want to make sure it is on the main beam. You're going to tilt the ladder forward and then dip back, letting the ladder rest on your hand and from that point the ladder can rest on your shoulder. You need to make sure that your upper arm is locked out, ladder is stable over your head, clear all overhead obstructions. When spotting the ladder, you want to make sure that the ladder is almost perpendi perpendicular to the building before rotating on its inside beam. Once it's firmly on the ground, you're going to wrap it with your right foot and have your right hand high and left hand low. When preparing to raise the halyard, you want to stabilize the ladder with your right leg, your toe, and your knee, putting pressure on the ladder. Pull the fly section up firmly, quickly, until both dogs are locked. At that point, your hands transfer to a comfortable rung in front of you. Your foot transfers to the middle of the bottom rung, and the ladder goes directly into the building. When lowering the ladder into the building, you always want to look at the tip, making sure it's clear of all overhead obstructions. Once the ladder is in position on the building, we need to check for all four points of contact and a proper climbing angle. Ladders move back and forth, rung and rung, and side to side, rung and beam. When preparing to remove the ladder from the building, you need to step into position, put both hands on the same rung and your foot in the middle of the bottom rung. Opening to our open side, you need to say all clear, and make sure all overhead obstructions are clear and everything is clear behind. Once the ladder becomes vertical, we need to visualize both shoes are on the ground firmly. Put our right hand high, left hand low, and wrap the toe. When lowering the fly section, both hands go on the halyard, pulling evenly, letting the fly section down quickly, stabilizing the ladder with your knee, your foot, and your elbows if necessary if the ladder comes back at you. Once the fly section is fully retracted and both dogs are locked on an appropriate rung, hands go back to the beams and we can straddle the left beam of the ladder. You want to pivot the ladder towards yourself, keeping a nice wide stance. From this point we need to do another all clear, making sure to keep both hands on the ladder at all times. As we reach up, find the balance point with our right hand. You're going to shuffle your feet back without crossing them. Do a dip and gently put the ladder back on your shoulder, resting on your hand. Left hand is extended out fully, stabilizing the ladder over your head. When walking away from the building, we're either going to look for a spot to put down the ladder or put the ladder back on a rig. If we do set it down on the ground, once again we're going to dip, rotate on the inside beam. As we get back perpendicular with the building, we're going to slide our hands down the beams, shuffling your feet, trying not to cross them. When you get to the very tip of the ladder, you're going to bring your hand over the side of the beam, not the tip, using your legs to bring the ladder down on its beam. Turn around, face the base of the ladder, always having a hand on the ladder. And once again, we're going to finish this ladder by facing the tip.